A busy UN General Assembly for the first time in three years, with representatives from around the world on site and ready to get to grips with global challenges. Incoming UNGA President Chaba Karosi of Hungary led the first plenary session and will play an important role in agenda setting in the coming weeks. He talked of ending conflict in his opening statement. Conflict is creating humanitarian upheavals, not seen since the Second World War and testing the strength of our institutions. The conflict in Ukraine has been a turning point for all of us. Kurosi said the Russia-Ukraine conflict has contributed to one of the world's most pressing issues, a food and fuel crisis. He praised the UN Secretary General's efforts to get the countries to resume grain exports to the world, which Antonio Guterres has described as a ray of hope to ease human suffering and alleviate hunger around the world. Education will feature highly this week. On Tuesday, the UN's refugee agency spoke of the critical need to ensure education as a human right. That means helping teachers in crisis as well as the most vulnerable students. Access to quality education really isn't a luxury. It's a human right, and it's something that should be available to all young refugees from the start of an emergency. Coming up are sessions on how to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals, a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure peace and prosperity for all by 2030. Not on the agenda, but likely discussed behind closed doors are global economic conditions. We're also not talking about debt, because of course what's happened in all over the developing world is the economic aftershocks of COVID plus inflation have made it harder for a lot of countries to service their debt. Global inequities have become worse during the global COVID-19 pandemic. For many lower income countries, there's been issues such as access to vaccines, as well as being on the front lines of climate change, as well as impacted by food and fuel crises. But here at the United Nations General Assembly, it's going to be important to have diplomacy and discussions on funding to resolve any of these issues. Caroline Malone for CGTN at the UN headquarters in New York.